one of the best tools you will ever have within your psychological arsenal of weaponry is the ability to let a person know they're creepy. Yeah. Jealous family member, bullying co-worker, and antagonizing neighbor, creepy stalker. Just, just let them know that, hey, I didn't even know you knew that much about me. It's kind of creepy. You know, you can let a person know, like, oh, I caught that little sideways comment you just made, you know? You it seem like you be going out of your way to say slick shit to me. It's kind of creepy. You can let a person know that, damn, you worried about what I got, what I'm doing. It's kind of creepy. You can let a person know they're being creepy because it's nothing more humiliating for, for this person to find out that they're not a bully. They're not intimidating. They're not bothering you. You're not scared. You're not in fear. You're, you're creeped out. It's embarrassing to know that I put in all this work. I recruited all these people. I, I tried all these different ways. I sent all these different, and they're creeped out by me. They're not scared of me. <laughs> Think about it. It's one of the most effective tools you'll ever have. If you have somebody that's that seems to always call you out, publicly they always got something to say when they are when they're around people they they have an audience watching they always got something slick to say and you you've never reacted you've never responded just simply say you always got something to say about what i'm doing it's kind of creepy i don't even know how you know that you know just that little word creepy it's humiliating it's embarrassing they're embarrassed because they they told everybody that they were bullying you, that they're antagonizing you. They told everybody, I'm going to fuck with her every chance I get. And the whole time you're unbothered, you're actually creeped out by them. It's embarrassing. So I suggest you guys use this tool. And it, it, it's most effective, you know, <clears throat> you know, within toxic families or within toxic workplaces. Because you can easily let this person know that, I heard what you said. It's 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 kind of creepy. I don't even know why you're talking to me, you know. Or if you have a a weird family member that seems to always know current events in your life, but you don't even fuck with them like that, so you don't even know how they know that. It's it's easy to say. I mean, I don't even know why you care. It's kind of creepy. It's it's one of the most embarrassing and, and humiliating things to, to to find out that this person that you've been secretly attacking they know you're attacking them but they're not bothered by it they're actually creeped out it's embarrassing you done built a whole team a whole army you know you didn't put in money you didn't you didn't ask around you didn't put in real work trying to fuck with this person and the whole time they creeped out by you yeah it's an effective tool, I'm telling you guys. So I hope this helps someone to better understand that you, you don't have to be messy, petty. You ain't got to get down in the dirt with them. You ain't got to go get out of character. You ain't got to get all loud. And you ain't got to do none of that. Just let that person know. I mean, it's kind of creepy. It's creepy. I heard what you said, but it's creepy. I know what you think about me, but it's creepy. Where can they go from there? No, no, just ask yourself, if this person says something so nasty, mean, and sadistic towards you, they expect you to get out of character so they can fuck up your shit and the whole time you creeped out, where can they go from there? They're not getting your reaction that they wanted. You're not responding the way they predicted. They're not getting your attention. You're creeped out. Where can they go from there? I hope this helps.